This is hydrogen tab. What we're looking at here is a corner of my lab where you can see we've started the construction of the pulse system. I've decided on sticking with the plates. The 3LR1000 unit is basic what we're going to be dealing with here. The pulse unit I'm working on right now is made of two half-inch pieces of plastic on the bottom and this one half inch plastic on the top. The top is about 10 inches across and the the bottom base is 12 inches on the first piece of plastic and 10 inches on the second. Those are half inch steel rods going up and the plates on the inside are 12 inches by 5 inches. Again, as you can see, I'm using the plate system. Stanley Myers used the tube system. And matter of fact, everyone else seems to be using tubes. I've decided on plates because I believe I'm getting more area out of the plates. As you can see, the construction has been going slow but steady. I wanted a very sturdy unit here, one that I could work with. Plastic is the best to work with. I decided on half inch rods. Since this unit, like the 3LR1000, is going to be pressure sealed, you can see how I run the steel through and the bolts are embedded in the bottom. Again, the plates are 12 inches long by 5 inches wide. While you're watching this video, I'm also putting together the electronics for the unit, which consists of two 555 chips. The idea for this system is to create a capacitor, electronic term, and the capacitor in this case is the two plates separated by water. The idea is you pulse enough through the capacitor, or in this case the plates, that the voltage goes way up and pulls apart the water molecule which gives us the hydrogen. It's taken a lot of work to get to this point, but I do feel comfortable about this now. The other thing I'm trying to work out is exactly how I'm going to, what type of port I'm going to use on the top of this. I've got two ideas. One is the plastic port that I've been using on a 3LR 1000s, which has good points to it since it's plastic and if you've seen in some of my videos, they're very tough. Uh, the other would be using metal ports, metal pipes coming out. I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to use. What you're looking at here are 16, 
they're the separators that I'm thinking about using or the spacers between the plates. These are a sixteenth of an inch wide. The ones on the 3LR are, are is one eighth of an inch. I'll show you that. That's an eighth. And the others are a sixteenth. I'm doing some experiments to try to figure out which one is the better. The eighth inch spacer is what I'm using on the 3LR 1000s and it is working great. I honestly don't believe making it thinner will do any better. The problem with making it thinner is you run the risk of the plates touching. And the over to compensate for that you have to put more spacers in it. This is a plastic output port that I'm using on a 3LR. It's one of the options on this unit. Or the other option would be to put the 